Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this time around the finished Half Haven save file update. Uh, this is gonna be the last update that thus far there has been no new expansions, no game packs, stuff packs uh, coming up that would affect the worlds per se. Um, so I have finished all the, all the worlds that are listed here. Uh, I have used all expansions up to get cottage living. I have all game packs except for Journey to Patu. All the stuff packs and the only follow uh, only kit I have is Country Kitchen. Like let's say if we hop into this uh, parched prospect four. For example, you don't have an item that for example um I have you don't have cottage living, for example, and there would be a cottage living item here. The game would either simply delete the item or replace it with a base game item. Most of the time the game goes and replaces the item with a base game item that is uh, somehow a same function. Let's say like a bar stool. If you don't have cats and dogs and I have placed this bar chair there, it more than likely replaces it with a base game uh, bar stool. I have finished also all the Destination World stuff. So I have Granite Falls here. I have replaced all these rental lots here. So we have a campground, we have a yellow triangle tiny home here. We have itty bitty red tiny home over here. We have Riverside Resort and Green Getaway. I have replaced all the lots in this save and they have all been either rebuilt or renovated and they have been created by either me or Maxis. So I have gone to gallery. Let's connect. I haven't apparently been connected for a while. I have gone and looked up Maxis. And Maxis themselves have a ton of sims. They have houses they have rooms and whatever else in here and i have looked up given the like here yellow triangle tiny home is right here i have given the house then a tiny renovation um it doesn't come as what you would download it from the gallery as so i have changed probably a location it's a little bit like taking clutter off made sure stuff works or whatever, or changed, um, you know, wallpaper, something, 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 anything. So Selva Dorada, I have rental lots. So obviously there is a little jungle bungalow. We have Simply Eco lot over here. Uh, we have Hillview Hideaway over here and a Selva Dorada villa. Uh, if I remember right, our renovations, they are completely rebuilt and renovated. Builds over here. And then obviously the National Park has gotten a little bit of a more, well, how, how would I say, wild? We have Cantina del Arbor del Jaguar. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm completely mispronouncing that. I'm so sorry. Uh, this one, I changed it a little bit. Just a little bit, let's see. Gave it a little bit more, a different kind of a color and whatever. And then, because there was not much to do, if you don't want to go for the jungle adventures, you can come here for a spa. You can rent, uh, rent. Well, I suppose you can rent the table and the chair, but you can also hire the people to give you a massage or a manicure, a pedicure or whatever. And then obviously the bar stayed as was i didn't change that too much and the museum changed a little bit i didn't do much to it just little changes here and there uh, i also finished get to work lots this police station is completely new hospital is completely new and science lab is completely new uh, and because of that i have given jobs and skills to majority of the townies and then randomize the level of those skills with the MC comment center mod. And there are townies who have been chosen by me and are a surprise to you who have joined the doctor, scientist and detective careers. 
Also, other lots I have changed have been Forgotten Grotto, Sylvan Glade, and Sixem. They all have cotton changes to them. And you will find out when you visit them. So what do you get? You get every lot is changed, every lot has been renovated, uh, except for Mount Komorebi and Henford on Bagley. Those lots have been built by Game Changers, so I have given them small touches, but no big renovations or replacements. There was one lot in Henford on Bagley that I could uh, put a new build on, which I did. I put my my version of the two old mill lane down there. All the townies have got the makeovers, so some of them you might uh, recognize some you might not. There are new ones, they're completely odd ones, and the game is still generating new ones. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> some of them, uh, anyway. I have not touched them since I put up the download link up on my Patreon for this save file. So uh, check down below for the link if you want to go and check out this save file. I have added townies created by me or Maxis. I have not downloaded sims created by other creators. Uh, I have given them all makeovers as well. Also, I have changed the community lots across all the worlds, which means that there are parks and cafeterias. For example, in Willow Creek, there is no park where you have usually used to it, but there is actually going into town a big retail lot that Pancakes have bought the little bakery in. And the park instead is Sage Estates Garden right down next to a Sage Estates 1, which means it is three houses on one lot. I have added some rental lots here and there. For example, in Sulani, we have one rental lot right here. And if I remember right, Delso Valley has one. Yes, we do. All the get-together clubs have en been enhanced and adjusted. Maybe a new one or two have been added into the game. And the Strangerville uh, story has not been touched. So if you wish to go and reveal the story in the secret lab, you can go and do that. But I have not changed anything in here because of this storyline. I didn't want to go and screw it up. Eco lifestyle. Community spaces have gotten slight retouches, like new wall paints or, you know, uh, more garbage, maybe new floor. I don't know. I like them as they were, so I didn't really want to go and change them too much. Which means that eco footprints have not been touched in any of the maps. Um, you decide which way you want to go with the neighborhood action plans. If you download this save file, know that I have used some mods. Uh, MC Command Center, UI Cheats Extension, Build Camp Free Camp, and Fan Art Maps by uh, Jershayan. For example, like, you should see it here, yeah. Like some of the pictures uh, come up like this, because I have the mod. Uh, I do not guide you through these mods and they have their own support staff and creators who are in uh, more capable of doing that. The mods are not required to play the save file and download <laughs> them with your own discretion. If you do not know how to deal with mods, don't download any, okay? I have, I have used a few cheat builds, I'll uh, list them up here. I have not, however, used the tool mod while building any of these lots. I do not use dual mod. I, have, I want to put pressure on that because I know so many people do and I do not. I have tried the gameplay, test every single lot, but because I'm only a human, I might overlook some things. And because of that, I rely on you telling me if there's something broken somewhere so I can try to fix it. I, however, am not fixing any in-game issues. Uh, I, I, this save file or I are enough already, like fixing any already in-game bugs or like, for example, all the missing roads in Evergreen Harbor. I, I can't 
<laughs> I can't do anything about that. It's completely the Sims 4 relative, okay? The save file does not come with a haunted house, so if you wanted one, you can place it somewhere if you so wish. And some of the builds have been built here before the game updates for the stairs changes, for the like you turn stairs or platforms or terrain tool. Um, what else could I tell you? Uh, not much really, I guess. I just hope you can you give it a try, you tell me what you think of it, uh, where it was issues, if there was any issues, uh, what you thought of the makeovers, whatever. When you download this file and you have placed it in your saves files, it means that you will be prompted to hop into Sun Machino and the only family that is marked as a playable, uh, well, played, is me and my family. So either you can continue playing with us, or you can choose someone else, or you can create your new household. What I recommend you to do is to save as, so you have a extra slot of this save file, so you do not need to always download a new new file of this one if you wish to have it for more than one time, whatever. As for usual, I am all over the place, but I hope you have picked up the most important things that I have said here. But yeah, I will link down below the Patreon page, uh, all free, by the way, for this save file, I don't get paid for this. I hope you will enjoy and have fun with this. All the apartments here are also uh, renovated, by the way, every single one of them. There's one apartment that is undone. It is one to one Hakim house. I figured I'll leave something for you to do. And there is one that is super, super cheap and gnarly. I have to point out a couple of things, a couple of builds that are somehow in a way or another important to me. So we have Monica's and Rachel's apartment right here from friends. We have Central Park, right here, from Friends. We have, if I remember right, here. Yes, we do. We have a house from Kilmore Girls, right here. There is a house here that is based on my grandparents' house. And then we have, in Mount Gomerebi, we have Goths are living in Salvatore boarding house or boarding school, whichever you are you watching legacies or not, I'm not not sure. Then if I remember right in Winterberg, we have 64 Berry Street NYC, which is from the Sex and the City where Gary Bradshaw lived and it is my uh, take on her apartment. So yes, thank you everyone. I hope you had a good time and I'll see you in the next video. Happy simming. Bye bye.